Good evening. This is Jim Schmidt. So it took place toward the end of the Maccabean Revolt in the middle of the 2nd century BC. The rebellion against the tyranny of the Greco-Syrian Seleucid Empire, which not only forbade the practice of Judaism, but also tried to impose its own brand of paganism on the people. After the Second Temple was rededicated, after being cleansed and purified, it was discovered there is only enough illumination oil for a single day, which of course stretched miraculously into eight. And since the first night this year falls on a Sunday, and since tomorrow is the Sabbath, uh, we're going to present our annual Hanukkah celebration tonight, including at 8 o'clock tonight, the Hanukkah story, with the Western Wind Vocal Ensemble and narrator Leonard Nimoy. And then at 9 o'clock tonight, George Frederick Handel's telling of the Hanukkah story. He will be hearing a complete performance of his oratorio, Judas Maccabeus, with the English Chamber Orchestra, conducted by Sir Charles McCarris. Uh -huh. And we're going to begin this evening, as we inevitably must, with some music by the man who has become by far the most preeminent composer of Jewish liturgical music of our time. The man who was born in Mannheim in 1928, he was forced to flee to this country with his parents in 1939. And in addition to composing an enormous amount of inspired music, he's also been an inspired and inspiring teacher. And he teaches at the Juilliard School of Music to this day, in his 90th year. Uh, here is his arrangement of nine of the most popular Hanukkah songs and hymns. Here to begin this evening's program is to celebrate the miracle. Music by Samuel Adler, performed by the University of Cincinnati Conservatory of Music Wind Symphony, conducted by Rodney Winter. <laughs> 